Today will be lesson four in instructional videos for Master Guo Lingying's original Wan Ping Tai Chi form. Um, last time we took learn um, short from short cool swings, we learned brush deep with steps, and then ended up in parry and punch. And so we do a quick review of that, and then we go on to the next move. So in the last lesson from Stroke Cool's Wings left side and then stepping Stroke Cool's Wings right side. Then in Brush Knee Twist Step, we're just going to do two movements for the space. The right side to even, shift back, neutral, and then the left side. And from here, Brush Knee Twist Step, walk back. Left hand goes out, sit in a horse, carry, and punch. So we'll take it from uh, this position here. From carry and punch, you're going to pivot off the heel so your foot is straight forward, and then just come back, hands in front of the shoulders, elbows relaxed and about 45 degrees. And then from carry and punch, pivot the foot so it's straight forward, rotate on the heel, and then come back with the hands. Hands in front of the shoulders, elbows low, and arms about 45 degrees. Okay, again from here, pivot, walk back. It's going to be easier if you remember to do the footwork first and then shift the weight back. Here, but it's tucked in. So from here, turn the foot and then shift the weight back, sitting down on the right leg. Height remains pretty much close to from where you are in parry and punch to Shifting back. So I do it uh, facing this direction. From um, left side on um, brush knee, twist step, pivot the foot into the horse and punch. From here, turn the foot on the heel and then shift back. So basically, the function of the movement that somebody's uh, going to grab you and then you're kind of warding off their arms off your shoulders so that you can do the uh, push. So from carry and punch in the horse, you have to shift the foot forward and then come back for the receiving. So um, there's a, sometimes there's a question on when you're turning your foot, whether to turn it on the toe or on the heel. Or on the ball of your foot, ball of the foot, not to miss the toe, but ball of the foot. The general uh, idea is that if you turn on the ball of the foot, you'll be shifting your balance and weight back. But if you pivot on the heel, you stay basically in the neutral, same uh, weight balance. So in this case, from carry and punch, from the horse position with the foot going out and this foot going out, you want to kind of uh, remain fairly in the same place. You're going to come back because you're going to sit on the leg, but by turning on the heel, you'll be in good balance. If you try to turn from the toe, you have to come all the way back this far in order to be in good balance. So that's why the reason shift the foot off the heel and coming back. And again, in this move, in order to learn it, you might want to shift the foot first so your leg is straight and then walk back. But eventually you can do it at the same time. So again, from uh, brush knee, twist step, 
walking back, carry, get on the horse, punch. Go from here, shift the foot, and walk back, and ward off and receive here. So the next move, part of the second part of that is from here, from carry and punch, here, shift the foot, come back. You're going to turn this foot out 90 degrees so that it'd be correct for the horse, and then step through, step through, and then push. Again, from here, carry and punch. Back, shift back, turn the foot, step through, and push. So, um, if you kind of watch the uh, leg position from brush knee twist step, you kind of like again, a little bit of shoulder width here. As you come back, do the carry and stun and horse. You're going to be in the horse stance on the right side. Right foot goes out and left foot goes forward. So here, as you come back, you're going to come into the straight leg forward position. But as you step forward into the next move, the push, you're going to change this foot. And now you're going to be in the left horse position. So uh, in the footwork, you went from the right horse here, shift straight back, change, and left horse position. Again, in the left horse position, you're going to have to like turn from the waist, and again, you notice the right hand elbow is a little bit more bent because in the horse and turning from the waist, you want these hands to be even on the push. So again, the uh, proper uh, direction will be uh, going in this way. That would be um, 9 o'clock. So again, from ending of the brush knee, push step, come back, carry, sit on the horse, punch. From here, turn the foot, come back, turn the foot out uh, to the left, down in the left horse and push. In practicing this, um, you can just kind of take it a step at a time from the carry and punch, come back here. Okay, here, turn the foot, come back. From the carry and punch position, this hand, the fist, is going to be underneath about the wrist. So as you come back, I like to have these hands in contact and come back. But if you just go from here to here, that's uh, fine too. This is more of a press, uh, preferable for me because I like to slide to uh, train my arms to feel like that. So from here, you want to come from the period punch position, straight, back, turn, step through in the horse, and then do the push. So I'm just uh, always starting from the left brush knee twist step so we can go from the, uh, the period punch into this uh, next move, which is called um step up apparent close up so let's see from Chiki's book from the left uh brush knee twist step rock back carry and punch from here shift the weight back turn the foot forward come back and ward off step through the left horse and push Again, as you push, you want to sink and feel that elasticity. So uh, that will be the next move for uh, the Tai Chi form.
chip up, a pair close up is what it's called. So we'll go into the next uh, move, uh, the turnaround for Kerry Tiger the Mountain. Um, it's a move that I'm going to say for the next lesson. We just need to turn into the opening position that we have kind of two short moves to learn. I want to keep this lesson short uh, so that I can kind of uh, include some other information in, in this video. So again, from go, going back to from freshly twist up, sit back, change the hand, sit on a horse, Curry and punch. Change the foot, rock back. Turn the left foot out, sit in the left horse, and push. So this will be the next uh, move. From here, you're going to make a fist over your left palm. And then you're going to turn on the heel into this uh, sitting position. The right foot could be a little bit turned out. It doesn't have to be perfectly straightforward. So again, from the push in the left horse here, you're going to turn this foot on the heel. Again, that principle that you don't want to be moving this way. You want to keep your stance centered. So if you pivot on the heel this way, and the foot is like 90 degrees, you change the hand and just turn. From the push in the left horse. Give it. You notice that as I do the turn, the last part of the turn, the left foot will come off the ground. So from the left horse push position, turn the foot. And fist over the palm facing you, left palm. And as I turn, I lift up and set back down. No weight on the heel. This is the opening position of carry tiger to mountain. So let's do all that together from uh, brush to twist step. The last move, uh, left side of brush to twist step. Walk back, change the hand, sit on a horse, carry, and punch. From here, shift the foot forward, pull back, warding off. Turn the left foot, step through in the left horse, and push and sink. From here, this over palm, turn the foot, and into the sitting on your right leg and very little weight, just the weight of the leg on the ground. This is the opening position of carry tiger to mountain. And one more time. We'll do a little bit uh, faster this time. From brush knee twist step, come back, change, carry and punch. Shift the weight forward, pull back, Step up a parent close up is the name of the move. Turn the foot, step through, and push. Sink, elastic. Turn the foot, fist over palm facing you. Make your arms create a circle. Turn, and heel comes up and down. But it's tucked in, erect posture. Head is straight. So we'll go into uh, the rest of Terry Tiger the Mountain and then uh, next uh, lesson.
So there's a few things I'd like to address in this video uh, covering what we've learned so far. Uh, first, let's talk about direction a little bit because I know, understand that uh, in trying to follow a video, uh, you know, on your screen, you might uh, get confused. At this point, we really haven't gone into a lot of different directions. The main line will be going, so I'll be doing everything that we've learned to kind of talk about it and show you. So in the opening, you're standing facing 12 o'clock. So you do the opening, strike palm, grass buddha. And as you do grass bird's tail, grass bird's tail is going to be on the 45 degree at about a little past 1 o'clock position. So about 45 degrees this way. So as you step up and do the transitional pose for a single whip, now the movement is going to be going from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock on a straight line for so a single whip. As you do short cool's wing, you'll be facing directly at 9 o'clock. And if you step out to the side, you'll still be at 9 o'clock. When you do brush tree twist step, you're going to come back on that same line, perp perpendicular line. As you do the parry and punch, you'll be facing again 9 o'clock, but you come off on a straight line. As you come back and change to step up apparent close up, you'll be still facing 9 o'clock. You just change from the right side to the left side horse. As you turn around, you're still on this line going from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Again, as I said in another video, my suggestion is that in your uh, workout space, even if you go to a park uh, that you don't know, you, if because of uh, direction, your mind tends to memorize the direction that you're in. And when you end up later on in the form, when it gets more complicated in the direction, your mind will remind you that you're facing in the wrong direction because you can imagine where your workout space that you should have been facing towards the car or, you know, the tree over there or something like that. It kind of identifies the markers. So in your workout space, always face the same direction when you're working out to help you orientate the uh, direction of your form. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is in the form, um, there's some moves that are repeated throughout the form and some moves are just one time in the form. So again, let's go back to the beginning. In strike palm to praise Buddha, that's only one time in the form. But in grass bird tail, this movement grass bird tail is repeated through the form, but in variation. Okay, and we'll, I'll point that out when we get to it. But again, that movement of the arm will be the same in those uh, variations. So uh, a lot of times it's good to identify, uh, especially when you get more progressed through this form, um, movements that are repeated in the form. And a lot of times that's good because once you learn that movement, when you get late to the form later on, it might be easier to do that. But there's also um, a part of that that can confuse you because you'll be doing that movement like a single whip. And you did single whip earlier, but now you're doing single whip and it kind of confuses you where in the form are you doing that single whip in relationship to the other move. So again, uh, from the beginning, strike palm jasuda is only done one time. Last first tail is done throughout the set a few times two other variations. Step up. This is a pretty standard pose that's going to be repeated through the form. 
and then single whip will be repeated many many times through the form so Sorku's wings only one time in the form let's see twist step Purian punch now Purian punch is going to be repeated many times in the form as well and also in different uh, variations. And when we get to the end of Curry Tiger the Mountain, the next move I'll teach, you'll see that it ends in Curry and Punch as well. Step up, apparent close up, uh, happens in this one form, but the concept of that is repeated. And then step through and push. And again, the push will be repeated um, in other variations. So um, as you go through the form, it's really good to kind of identify which movements will be singular when you only have to learn it one time or whether uh, it will be repeated. And again, single whip will happen many times and facing different directions and uh, as well different variations. So uh, I will point those out as we go along, but that's an important move to work on, those ones that are going to be repeated. So, so those are kind of some uh, additional information I wanted to add into this video. So I'll just do a short demonstration of everything that we've learned. Um, I'm not going to talk it through as I do it, I'll just do it so you can see what it looks like. This is, uh, I'll just uh, keep it uh, fairly basic without too much embellishment. So I hope that uh, the lessons are going good, that the lessons are clear enough for you to follow. Again, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. It's uh, um, kind of a learning curve for me to learn how to present these videos uh, in this kind of context without having a student there to uh, see you know, where they are in the forum. But I can just... Uh, Best I can do is just give you uh, the information as I understand it. Mm -hmm. Thanks.